everybody and welcome to day 18 of Advent in a Shoebox. Today's job or today's activity is to make your very own shepherd. Here is a shepherd here. A shepherd is someone who looks after sheep and the shepherds have an important part to play in the nativity story. We've heard so far that Mary and Joseph travelled to Bethlehem on a donkey and there was no room for them. No one had anywhere for them to stay. But then yesterday we heard that a very kind innkeeper let them go in his stable. And it was in the stable that baby Jesus was born. What great news indeed. Baby Jesus, the king of us all, and he was born in a stable. And that's where the shepherds then come in. Because the shepherds were on the hillside looking after their sheep. When suddenly a big choir of angels appeared in the sky and the angels gave the really good news to the shepherds that Jesus had been born and that Jesus is king. And the shepherds, of course, dashed off to the stable to find Jesus and to visit their newborn king. So to make your own shepherd, you're just going to do the same as what we've done in all the other activities for making people. You're just going to have your semicircle and do it in that very special way like that to make your cone shape. And then, of course, stick on a face and a crook for the shepherd to hold. And you could even make a little sheep. You could put some cotton wool on even to make it nice and fluffy. You can do whatever you like to make your own shepherd to visit baby Jesus in the stable and to add to your collection there. It's so joyful, isn't it? Thinking about the joy that the shepherds would have felt. On Sunday, we lit our third candle on our Advent wreath, which symbolises joy. So we're really thinking about joy this week and being joyful. And just imagine that joy that the shepherds felt when the angels told them that baby Jesus was born, King of all the world. What good news indeed. So today, let's go and make our own shepherds and feel that joy in our hearts. Have a lovely day and I will see you again tomorrow for the next activity. Bye for now.